Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 thriller with a little bit of horror thrown in there, Open Your Eyes. A film that is directed and written by Greg A. Sager and it stars Rye Barrett and Joanna Saul. Now Rye Barrett plays a character uh, who is a screenwriter, that's his profession. He's a struggling screenwriter, he's in his apartment trying to finish this screenplay, he's getting badgered by the studio etc etc so he's under a little bit of pressure. Um, he is then starts to experience some weird, weird uh, things going on in his apartment that just don't seem quite right. Um, there's a neighbour down the hall um, that he makes a connection with and again that just doesn't seem quite right um, and the rest of the film is this character essentially trying to make sense of what is going on in his life because like I say things just aren't as they should be what are my thoughts on Open Your Eyes? Now, this is going to be, you know, a fairly difficult film to review in some aspects because, you know, um, other than giving away spoilers, there's not a lot you can say about this film. I Certainly, I don't think it's... It, it felt to me, watching this film, that it was, uh, in some ways, I got a very... I got a real Jacob's Ladder vibe from it by watching it. Uh, this guy, you know, having these weird things happen to him in his apartment. Things are there, then they're not. His wall is... Uh, there's like some weird leak going into his wall and it's rotting away. And he's going up and banging on his neighbour's doors, telling them they've got leaks. And uh, there's a weird cat hiding in the uh, air ducts and things like that. And this neighbour down the hall that he's got like this immediate connection with. So I think it's... It, Everything's to him feels familiar and then not and then something's there the one minute then it's gone um, And he gets odd things happening to him. It's very clear when you're watching this film that There is going to be a reveal take place eventually in it. That's going to reveal everything now um, Leading up to the reveal The film is other than strong performances the film is actually fairly by the book um, it's not what you would describe as scary, although, although there is some horror imagery going on and things like that that's carefully placed into the film. Um, I think the real smart aspect of this film is how it, how it weaves the story to the ultimate reveal. Because it kind of lures you into a false sense of security. You think what's you think what's going to happen, or you think you know what's going on eventually, and then the reveal takes place, and it's like a huge slap across the face, and it's like, aha, you thought we were going to do something else, didn't you? Um, and I did not expect the reveal at all, and for me, it made the film uh, the reveal. It was a surprising, interesting, and relevant ending um, stroke reveal at the end that for me was a, a lovely breath of fresh air because so many of these like low budget type independent horrors they you know they're competent in what they're doing quite a lot of them but they're telling familiar stories that we've seen over and over again and this film what i really liked is it kind of took your hand and led you down the garden path making you think what you think might be happening uh, and then it gives you this nice ending that really did, uh, I thought, pack a punch. And I really did appreciate that ending very much. I thought the performance here by Rye Barrett was excellent. I don't know much about this actor. I think I've seen him in a couple of other things here and there. Uh, maybe mainly low budget type horror things. But I thought he gave a very strong performance here. Um, essentially, it's only these two these two characters that you see through the majority of the film, and that's Rye Barrett and Joanna Saul, the two actors um, you see, and it's mainly Rye Barrett. I mean, you do see him interact with um, his neighbour down the hall a few times, but for the most part, it's him, you know, working on this screenplay and things like that, and then trying to make sense of what is going on in A's apartment and B's apartment building and things like that, and he's it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle you're trying to put the pieces together um, and then eventually you kind of think alright oh, I think I get this I think I know what's happening 
and then you really don't I mean I'd be really surprised and interested to know anybody that watched this that did figure out the ending um, I didn't certainly and I'm, I'm quite happy to put my hands up and say that so I thought it was clever writing clever direction um, an interesting watch for me it, kept, it held my attention throughout the whole film I think some will find maybe that it does drag a little bit because it does feel a little bit like um, you're watching something and it's not giving you any answers it's just kind of teasing you consistently you know it's like rinse and repeat or that a weird thing's happened then a few minutes later something else weird has happened then a few minutes later something else happens that's a bit odd and a bit weird a bit freaky and you just kind of think okay I'm getting a bit you know fed up now can we have some answers please um, but it, it, like I say it just it keeps milling along with good performances good dialogue there's good dialogue between the characters and it's an interesting premise and then like as I've said the um, the reveal at the end for me just made the film I would have probably have scored this maybe a 4, 4.5 out of 10 if it wasn't for that reveal at the end. Um, so for that reason, for, for the strong ending, um, I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. I, I like it when you leave a film and it let, you continue to think about it when the film was finished. So that is my review for Open Your Eyes. Maybe something to check out. Something a little bit different. It's not really a horror. It's mainly a thriller. Um... But, like I said, there is some horror imagery going on. But it's just a, quite an interesting film with decent performances. So it's certainly worth checking out. So that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And, of course, I will be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.